So you got any meetings today? Yeah, dinner time. Thought I might top up my willpower. Gonna need it when I'm a daddy, all them sleepless nights, eh? Hey, I'll do the feeds. You don't have to stress. <laughs> no, I'm not stressing. I want to do it. It's been a long time since I've been up at three o'clock in the morning with a bottle in my hand. Well, as so long as it's just formula. What are you up to yeah. this morning? I'm gonna go for a walk with Steve, actually. A walk? Yeah, he's got one of these, uh, what they call these step counters. Reckons it's changed his life. I might get one myself. I reckon I'll nail 10,000 steps a day easy. Once the little ones here, I get the football out, eh? Well, that mightn't be for a while. Well, you can never start too early, that's what I say. Right, the balloons and the banners are coming this afternoon. Do you want me to come and help you put them up? Uh, no, we can manage. How's it going? Well, I've got the invitations out. I just need to decide what costume to get for Emery. Well, last time I wore fancy dress, I was a student. <laughs> Who'd you go as? It wasn't so much a person as an idea. I went as a fish riding a bicycle. <laughs> Did you take a lot of drugs in uni, then? I'll do this with you, and then I'm straight to a meeting. Right. Bet they don't get many pub owners, do they? Well, you'd be surprised, babe. Who are we off? Well, Red Wreck, yeah. we'll have a brew, mm -hmm. Kit Kat, or we'll have a whole nut, depending on mood. And then we'll do a couple of laps, finish off with a 99. And you do this every day, do you? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, it's a tough regime, but no pain, no gain. True. Anyway, it gives me a little buzz, you know, when I get to 10,000 steps. Oh, I must feel good. Hmm? Must feel good. No, the, no, the fitness tracker gives oh. me a buzz on my wrist. But you're right, it does feel good. Yeah. Get to put my feet up for the rest of the day. Got to have a goal, Peter. Oh, yeah, yeah. I agree. I mean... You know, I could do with summer, the way this year's kicked off for me. Hey, you've got a great life. You've got the, you've got the, the new business, you've got oh. a baby on the way. I'd swap with you any time. <laughs> yeah, but you're dating our Tracy. The grass is bound to look greener, isn't it? Oh, uh, but no, you're right, eh? Onwards and upwards, that's what I say. Ah. Oh. And this past few months, I've thrown up a few ghosts. Stuff that I hope was dead and buried. And on top of that, me and the missus bought a business together. So that means we... We work together, sleep together, eat together, 24-7. And now... We're having a baby together. Um, and I... <laughs> I feel like I'm being slowly strangled. And you know when I've... I've felt this kind of pressure in the past, I've cracked. I've reached for the bottle and I've wrecked lives. My own included. And experience is telling me you're going to do that again. But I'm hoping, you know, that you'll all be able to, you know, tell me that that's not inevitable. Because I have hope, right? And this baby, he or she, doesn't know it yet, but they're going to meet a whole new Peter. I mean, all right, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm hoping that it is a she. I call her Susie, Susie Barlow, because I think it's got a nice ring to it. And I tell you, she is not going to be this dead weight that drags me under. She's going to be this life belt that keeps me afloat, along with a lovely mum. So what I'm saying, his history doesn't have to repeat itself, right? 